honkety hank a mechanical boy built himself the silliest toy an automobile that went when he run up the neighbors all said that he shouldn't have done it the goofiest car that a kid ever built all painted and patched like an old crazy quilt was made out of boxes and tin cans and such that didn't have even a break or a clutch Twould jiggle and twiggle and wiggle and giggle and mutter and sputter and flutter. Twould cough and sneeze and wheeze down the street with a terrible clutter. The people would shout, hey, look out. Here comes Honkety Hank and he's hooting and the automobile. Here he comes with a clinkety clank, a thunk and a thunk and a squeal. All hopped up like a hoppity toad, the hottest hot rod on the whole bloomin' road. Heads up for Honkety Hank and his hoot nanny automobile. <laughs> that old hunk of junk would make anyone <laughs> laugh. The motor inside was an old phonograph. The wheels were wobbly and bubblegum tired. No one, every time it backfired. But there came a day when for Honkety Hank, Gave the crank a heck of a yank. That hopped up jalopy went cloppity clop and the lickety split past a big motor cop. <laughs> that hop, he hopped on his fast motorcycle and honkety yelled, I'm sure in a pickle for miles and miles. They swerved and swirled to the cop chase for Hank almost clean around the world. <laughs> they finally came to the end of the chase, leaped the fence in a hot midget race. Passed the others and came in first place, and the cop, he laughed till red in the face. <laughs> around and around that big racetrack, honkety hank, zip, clickety clack, with a zing, 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 and a pop. He just couldn't make that old hoot nanny stop. <laughs> the people, they couldn't believe their eyes when the judge gave honkety hank first prize. A thousand folks in that mighty crowd. Lifted their voices and sang out loud. Hooray for Honkety Hank and his hoot nanny automobile. What do you say there, Honkety Hank? Tell us how you feel. But Honkety Hank woke up in bed, blinked his eyes, and scratched his head. It was a wonderful dream, was all he said. So he hopped out of bed and dressed himself and washed his face and brushed his teeth and ate his gruel and kissed his mom and went to school. Just like any other boy. Had a mule named Charlie. An old one, a mule was Charlie. Craziest mule you ever saw was Onky, Onk, and he's Onky. Uh. Oh, what a mule was Charlie. Now, this crazy old mule named Charlie, he never ate hay or barley. Gobbled up other things instead from a kitchen stove to a feather bed. Oh, what a mule was Charlie. Yep, it's a fact. Why, that old mule, he never ate things like. Corn, or pickles, or prunes, or lums, or pears, or peanuts, or persimmons. But how that old critter did love pots and pans and old tin cans, stove pipe hats and rubber bands, bottles, rags, and gunny sacks, wicker chairs, and a box of packs. Oh, what a mule was Charlie. He once chawed up a size 10 shoe and guzzled it down with a gallon of glue. Got the hiccups and picked by heck. <laughs> his Adam's apple got stuck in his neck. Ah, uh, ain't up, no. Ah, uh, ain't up, no. Oh, what a mule was Charlie. I rode that mule to town one day to buy myself a horn to play. He followed me into the music shop, and boy, I thought he'd never stop. First he swallowed the slide trombone, a clock and spiel and a saxophone, a fancy fiddle and an old banjo, six bass drums and a piccolo. And that wasn't all that old mule ate for dessert he gulped on a clarinet, a xylophone and a big bassoon. That turned old mule, he rolled his
his eyes and stretched his neck up toward the skies and opened his mouth and began to bray and all those horns began to play. <laughs> Believe it or not, as sure as you're born, that mule gave out with plenty of corn. The folks exclaimed, so help me, Hannah, when he brays, it sounds like old Susanna. <laughs> Now I know it's hard to believe this yarn, but late one night out in the barn, that hungry old mule with his appetite ate 14 sticks of dynamite. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Ah, uh, too bad. Killed him dead, huh, Bozo? Nope, but I had a mighty sick mule on my hands for a few days. Yeah.